So we've just uh, entered the new year. You've been world champion now for what? 10 months, I think. Um, is that label starting to feel a bit more normal for you? Um, a little bit, a little bit more normal. Obviously, it still makes me um, laugh when uh, it's said sometimes. But um, yeah, no, I, I, I do get it. But I just kind of just um, take it in my stride, as they say. We're quite near to where you grew up in Victoria yeah. Park. It sort of borders Stratford and South Hackney. Yeah. This area has changed a lot, hasn't it, since you were a kid? No, definitely. Um, even just going for a walk in this park and other parts was a, was a very different um, proposition when I was younger. What do you remember from those times that are not, not quite as safe, not quite as family friendly? Obviously, there's some parts that maybe I wasn't exposed to that were um, family orientated, but the parts that um, I sort of uh, you know, got used to definitely weren't. Really and truly, the stuff that really helped was like the Olympics coming to Stratford, I think really mm. kind of helped um, to sort of um, change it up and there's a lot of gentrification that's happened. And what do you think you would have been doing if you not had that moment where you'd seen Big Josh have success at 2012? Do you, do you think you would have found some sort of other motivation to change your life or do you think um, there's a chance you could have been still the same person you were? It's a difficult one because, you know, I always felt like I was meant to do something, but I just couldn't find that, that thing that I wanted to go on and do. Obviously, maybe try to scale up and become a manager at the McDonald's or um, my mum and and, um, and and that's into like social work and stuff. So I was even considering slipping into that and just following suit. So it was, a, it was, it was, it was all all right. Yeah, talk to me about your, your mum. What's your relationship like with, with her? What does she mean to you? Yeah, she means everything to me. I think, especially as I've gotten older, um, it's like the, our relationships even, I, I just like, value her more and more. Um, I think, you know, when you're young, sometimes you don't, you don't understand the, what it takes to actually look after kids, pay <laughs> yeah. bills or any of these things. She's one of my main motivations to obviously continue to do well and even push further. She was able to come from another country mm. here, um, start, up, start up a new life and basically go from, you know, being a cleaner to going to university to becoming a social worker, that's a, that's a crazy transition. So mm. the transitions that I'm making from, you know, council housing to being a world champion, it, it's, it doesn't seem that far-fetched because you're meant to level up if you can. But you have a fair age gap between you and your younger sister, right? So yes, she's kind yes. of coming into, I guess, secondary school kind yeah. of age now. I try to remind her, I was actually bullied at school. So anything you think you're, is going on, I've, I've been, I've been this, I've been that. Can you remember the first time you stood up for yourself and sort of fought back, defended yourself? Yeah, no, I definitely do. Um, I was watching Dragon Ball Z the day before and um, I'd seen some moves. <laughs> I'd seen some moves on that TV show and I thought to myself, you know what? If someone tries it's it tomorrow... Time to put it into oh practice. <laughs> no, genuinely, I thought to myself, if someone tries it tomorrow, I'm going to do this exact move. Um, obviously, you don't really, you know you're big, but because I'd never had a fight before, I know, like, it didn't really, I wasn't sure how it would go. But as soon as I started using those moves, it was, it was pretty effective. I had so many, so many fights um, in school. It was, like a, it was like a weekly thing almost, do you know what I mean? That, it, um, you know, now when it comes to fighting, I understand the dynamic of like, after school, work, you and me. Mm. So it's sort of like, when it comes to actually having a boxing match, I'm thinking to myself like, I've actually been really prepped for this because I know on this day at this time, I have to see this guy mm. and we have to straighten that out. <laughs> so the next guy you've got to straighten things out with is uh, Michael Cizlak. That's the one. Um, very good uh, Polish fighter. He's your, he's your next challenger. Yeah, I've got to make sure that, which way you're gonna, I, I've got to make sure that I, um, I handle business and keep my uh, undefeated record yeah. intact. Yeah. But for me, I've been cha I'm chasing unifications and I'm chasing the, the whole idea of undisputed. I don't want to overlook Cizlak, but if they're not going to dance with me because they want to fight YouTubers, I'm not here to you know sit around and wait and box people that I believe I'm going to beat. I'm here to push and challenge myself and, mm. and, and get legacy. So if they're not up for it, then I'll just, like I said, make them move up to heavyweight sooner rather than later. They're obviously at your size, that weight's going to be naturally getting tighter because you expand in your late 20s and that's just a... That's the symptom of getting older. Um, would you want to go straight into the biggest fights or would you want to test the waters first? No, I'd definitely go straight into the biggest fights. And I, I know sort of where I believe I'll fit in. Mm. Um, ultimately, it's, it's very different on fight night, obviously, where, you know, um, one shot can change it and like the weight, um, pulling and pushing and 
I lose a lot mm. of the advantages that I have at cruiserweight, but then I gain a whole new set of advantages over heavyweight. So um, I'd like to go in at literally um, top level because, um, you know what I mean, I'm a world champion, so I might as well enter at that level at, um, at, at heavyweight. Yeah, and you've got the lights out power that, that you would need <laughs> to, to do damage to anybody. So, True. well, it's exciting. However, the year pans out. Just want to yeah. wish you all the best. Thank and, you uh, so much. of course, business to take care of at the end of February 1st. So um, we'll see you there. Thanks very much. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers.